welcome you to the County Executive Chambers here. Uh, as we uh, do something a little special, uh, as we've added to the wall through the uh, generous assistance of the Buffalo History Museum, uh, paintings that were commissioned more than a decade ago of our former county executives. Uh, I am joined today uh, by, as you see, three of our former county executives, former county executive uh, and now current uh, Town of Chicawaga Justice Dennis Gorski, uh, to my right, former county executive Joel Giamra, uh, to his right, former county executive Ed Rakowski. We are also joined by Mary Smith, the artist, uh, as well as we have family members uh, from the Tatuska family, former county executive uh, John Tatuska, his son John Tatuska is here, as well as family members Andrew Shirley. Uh, I know the, uh, the Rath family uh, extends their best wishes. Mary Lou Rath, the daughter of former county executive Ed Rath, is in Florida. And unfortunately, uh, Ed Rath, our legislator, couldn't get out of a, a work appointment to be here today. Uh, Ed has seen the paintings. Uh, we've had some meetings with the legislators since the uh, paintings were put back up on the wall, uh, and I know he certainly is very happy with the likeness of his grandfather, uh, former county executive, and first county executive in Erie County, Ed Rath. Uh, we're here today to let the public know that uh, we, and as I see in my administration, we, we treasure public art, and there was public art that for many years people had forgotten about, and that was the paintings of the county executives that were commissioned uh, in the early 2000s, uh, and were done by uh, painter here, Mary Smith, but uh, we're basically locked up, boxed away, and, and hidden at the Buffalo History Museum. We found out about their existence, and I want to thank uh, Melissa Brown of the History Museum and her staff for basically going through their archives, finding the paintings, uh, storing them and protecting them for so many years, and allowing us to put them on display in the county executive chambers for a number of months uh, to remind everybody about the proud history of the county executives that we have here in Erie County. Uh, we do have pictures of the county executives on the wall. They're, they're headshots, so to speak, as you uh, enter the county executive chambers. But when we found out about the paintings, we thought it was appropriate to put them back on display for the people of our community to see when they come and do the business, the people's business here in the county executive chambers. Uh, this is just another example of the, the good things that uh, we have to show our community, which is the proud, long history of government in Erie County. The county executives date back to 1960 when Erie County became a charter county and went to a county executive and legislature format of government uh, from the prior board of supervisors. And uh, there's many changes that have occurred in our community over the years, but uh, I'm proud to say that we've had some great county executives who've worked on behalf of the people of this community, and uh, their portraits will be on display uh, for some time now uh, in the county executives' chambers. And then, then the paintings will be going back to the History Museum as they are actually owned by the History Museum. But uh, I know Melissa Brown, the executive director of the History Museum, is on her way. Uh, she's finishing up, I believe, with a board meeting, but her and a couple staff members will be here as well. But I want to thank the History Museum for their uh, preservation of these paintings. Uh, I want to uh, thank the, the members of the families, as well as the former county executives, for being here today as well as uh, Mary Smith for the, the great likenesses. You can immediately pick out each county executive, you know. That's County Executive Rath, that's County Executive Rakowski, that's County Executive Giambro. The bald one is Gorski. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that one. But uh, at this time, I'd like to allow any of the county executives to speak if they would like, and then we'll turn it over in the end to Mary to uh, finish up. Go ahead, well, Joel, you're never lost for words. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. One of the reasons why I brought us all together. <laughs> Thanks, County Executive Gorski. It's a pleasure to be here today with Mark and with Ed and the uh, families and with Dennis. Um, it brings back some very fond memories being here in this room and some not so fond memories being in this room. But overall, I think it was um, um, a great opportunity for me and for my family and, and hopefully for this community to talk about uh, some of those issues that we dwelled on, if you will, like consolidation, uh, bringing the cost of government down, doing it better, smarter, and cheaper. And, and Mark has done a lot of that, and he is to be commended for that in his staff. Um, so I'm just very proud to be among these um, luminaries, if you will, and uh, look forward to hopefully people coming up here and seeing the artwork, the great artwork of Mary Smith. You, you did a great job, your own work on the likeness of all of us. And again, just thank you for the opportunity, Mark, and thanks for the recognition. I appreciate it. You're I simply want to say that I'm also very much thrilled to be with my colleagues as county executives. Uh, I noticed that the uh, uh, walkway where the 
portraits are hanging there is relatively narrow. That's, I think, to prevent darts from being thrown around. <laughs> 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 but, uh, it's a pleasure being up here. I can remember when my father first ran for county executive in 1960 against Ed Rath. Uh, coming up here uh, when I was relatively young and seeing the immense thinking that this conference room in the county executive's office was huge, and we were invited by former county executive Rath up as a family, and uh, how huge it was, and it's still pretty huge, but it's huge in the spirit of Erie County. And uh, I'm very proud to have served as the county executive, and as I said, very happy to be associated with my colleagues who are going to be enshrined, for lack of a better term, in the hallway on the county executive's office where they should be on the 16th floor. First of all, I'm, I'm glad uh, we finally found where the uh, paintings uh, were. Uh, and my first concern was that they burned mine, and the second concern, similar to Dennis's, is that they turned it into a, a dartboard, but it's nice to know that they're on display. I just want to pay tribute to my lovely wife, Mary Lou. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, when you're a county executive, the job itself is tough, but the ancillary part of the job is attending functions and being in communication with the people of Erie County. And it takes an awful lot of time away from your family. And uh, when I was doing that, she was not only a wife uh, and mother, she was also a father to our children. So I really appreciate what you did for me and, uh, and for the people of Erie County. When I was first elected county executive, <coughs> I had a uh, <coughs> nice letter from <coughs> my theology professor at Notre Dame. Uh, Father Tom Brennan, who was the brother of uh, uh, Walter Brennan. And he said, uh, always remember what your church taught you when you were at Notre Dame, that next to the priest, your church, the Catholic Church, reveres the politician, because like the priest, the politician is responsible for the general good of all people. And he said, it's an awesome responsibility and one that should be taken very seriously. And I took it very seriously, so did Dennis, so does Mark, and so did uh, Joel. Uh, and I just wanted to share that with you because it meant an awful lot to me. And it's not the uh, easiest job in the world. Uh, if things happen uh, the right way people say it was supposed to happen, if it didn't happen, you get blamed for it. So uh, I just want to thank everybody, and especially uh, Mark, for putting this together so we can all share in this time. Thank you. Now I'd uh, like to introduce to the podium the artist, Mary Smith, whose artwork is on display all across western New York, from the, uh, the Shaw Festival Theater, Forest Lawn, Westminster Presbyterian Church, of course other artwork pieces at the Buffalo History Museum, uh, UB City Hall, uh, Huff State, uh, as well as the Buffalo Clubs. He's a prolific artist who uh, captures the essence of our community. Mary Smith. Thank you. Well, I mean, public speaking isn't exactly my thing, but um, I'd like to thank you, Mark, for doing this. And thank you, County Executives, for the commission, which I really was thrilled about. And it's very nice to see them in terrific shape. Thank the History Museum for taking such good care of them, because that isn't always the case when paintings aren't hung. And so I'm thrilled to see that they're looking fine and that they're in a good place. And um, and I've kind of forgotten when I did them or how long it took me. But I have to say it was really quite a journey and I I loved every minute of it. And it was really fun to get into trying to get into the you guys. And I did it with old newspaper photos and all kinds of different things and it was kind of a mixed bag and I, I even posed a little bit myself and had friends posing because I was working from from material that wasn't um, the best. But anyway, I, I'm i very pleased to be here and thank you all very much. And I guess that's it. Thank you. I don't know if any of the members of the Tuska family would like to come up. Uh, uh, the striking between your, uh, the, the look between you and your father is you can see when you walked in, but uh, we, we were glad to have uh, almost every one of the county executives represented. Uh, of course, County Executive Collins is not on paintings because the paintings were done before his term, same with myself. But I don't know if you wanted to say a word or two on behalf of the Tuska family. Thank you. 
Again, we're very grateful for the opportunity to be here today. Uh, it's been quite a while since we were up in these offices, and uh, it's it's nice that uh, uh, you're able to uh, put this together and uh, display the pictures, uh, which we're very well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.